And one more thing that I want to do here inside the simulation is I want to add an additional noise just to make the bubbles sway from right to left a little bit more. So let's add a pop force note. We will basically add some noise. So connect this note to the flow here, call it turbulence. And for now, just to see the result of this without the overall motion, I will turn off the advection and increase the amplitude to 0.25. I will also reduce the swirl size to 0.2. So let's press play. And notice how we will have a motion added to the buoyancy that will make the bubbles go from left to right due to this noise that we're adding. So of course the value is currently very high. We only want a very subtle motion. So let's go with a swirl size of 0 0.05 and an amplitude of 0.1. Again, let's take a look at what we have so far. Okay, so it's still a bit too much. Let's go with 0 0.05. And I think that will work. Let's again turn on the advection. Go back to frame 1 and press play. And actually, let's cache a few frames. I'll create a flipbook. Okay, so let's take a look. I think this will work. We have some nice initial motion, then the buoyancy of the bubbles with some small turbulence added. So although we still have a huge amount of particles, I will leave the emission as it is, and then we can reduce the particle count afterwards. This way we can still decide or change our mind after the simulation has been cached. So let's stop the flipbook. Make sure to save your file and let's export the particles from the simulation. So let's add a dop IO node. You can drag and drop the network from the particles here under dop network. And the dop node, we can dive inside this network, select the pop object node, copy it. And back to my dot IO, we can paste this value here on the dot node. Control V. Display the dot import. And we need to change the preset to particles. This way, we're bringing in the geometry from the dot network. And here it is. So we're now ready to cache these particles. So let's do that. Let's add a ROP geometry output node. Connect it to the DOP IO. And this we have done before. I will change the name of this node to ink bubbles. I will make sure the frame range is the entire frame range of the animation. And as usual, I will change the name and the path of these files. So I will replace the hip name function for the dollar signed OS. And the name of the file is fine, again with a dollar OS function. So the resulting file name will be ink bubbles. And I think we're ready. You can now save to disk and I will be back in a moment. 